Okay, this one is a standard deviation question, which can oftentimes fill people with fear or trepidation. But the good thing to know is you don't really have to use the standard deviation formula, which is very long and winded. You have to have a conception of what standard deviation means. So let's look what we're dealing with here. Two columns A and B, five different integers between 0 and 10. What does that actually mean? Well, you could have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is between 0 and 10. That's perfect. What do we notice about the standard deviation here? Well, we have consecutive numbers. So standard deviation is very small. So if I had non-consecutive numbers, for instance, even if I did just something a little bit tiny difference here, 4, 7, 8, 9, everything's the same. I just changed that 5 to a 4. Does that little change is going to increase the standard deviation. So if this were column A and this were column B, this would be the answer, column B. So what's going on here? Well, in column A, we can have a whole variety of different standard deviations. If we have consecutive numbers, that's going to be one standard deviation. We could have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and then have a much larger standard deviation. And essentially, that's the exact same thing that's going on in this column B over here. Well, what is that? Well, five different integers. You could have consecutive integers, 13, 14, and 50. These consecutive integers would have the same standard deviations as this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or, for that matter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Standard deviations, how much they differ from one another, not their, their actual value, how much they are. So this could be tiny standard, de standard deviation. In that case, the two columns would be equal. Or this could be larger, such as 11, 14, 15, 17, and 19. Or it could be smaller than column A. We have all these different possibilities, so therefore we don't know. The answer is D.